The Church of Scientology has hit back at claims it's a criminal organisation hiding behind religion. It says independent Senator Nick Xenophon, who made the claims under parliamentary privilege, is obviously being pressured by disgruntled former members. This is the face Scientology presents to the world, Tom Cruise. Yeah! He's just one of a high-profile group of celebrities who are converts to the religion, founded by science fiction writer L. Ron Hubbard in the early 1950s. Cruise's defence and commitment to the religion is at worst seen as somewhat eccentric, but allegations by Senator Xenophon were aimed right at the core of the religion. Scientology is not a religious organisation. It is a criminal organisation that hides behind its so-called religious beliefs. There are allegations of false imprisonment, coerced abortions and embezzlement of church funds. It is alleged that information about suspicious deaths and child abuse has been destroyed. Senator Xenophon says he has handed a number of letters to police detailing so-called confessions of former Australian Scientologists. He said one involves a father's cover-up of the deaths of his two young daughters. His second daughter, who was two and a half, who was two and a half died after ingesting potassium chloride a substance used as part of a so-called purification program run by the organisation. The Church of Scientology issued this statement in response. This is an outrageous abuse of parliamentary privilege from a senator who would not even meet with church representatives several months ago to discuss his concerns. Senator Xenophon is obviously being pressured by disgruntled former members who use hate speech and distorted accounts of their experiences in the church. They're about as reliable as former spouses are when talking about their ex-partner. Scientology has repeatedly come under scrutiny, but church leaders always vehemently defend their beliefs from outsiders. One British journalist trying to investigate the workings of the church finally erupted in frustration. No, Tommy, you stop it! No, listen Brian. to me! Brian you were not there crime. at the beginning it's of that interview! You Though in federal parliament, a very measured and legally protected attack on the church. Does this sound like an organisation that should be receiving support from the Australian taxpayer?